Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Starfield. On the last episode, we finally finished up this uh, quest that we picked up in Gagarin um, for Helena Strickland, where we had to go to Holly to find uh, a guy that she thought stole data, but actually he didn't steal data, he was kidnapped for the data. We took care of all of that. The reason that we came to Gagarin in the first place was for the air filter whatever. Let me just go into my quest menu. Last resort. We have to return these to a million. This is on the Paradiso planet. So we're going to travel over here to finally turn these in. Um, in the mood to catalog <laughs> some life forms? Hmm. Apparently people wanted me to talk to ship tech. I don't know if it has to be there or not. Is Can I talk, talk to ship tech here? Are you ship tech? Who are you? It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Your security. I hope your stay is There's a trade authority point. kiosk. There's ship you services technician. Ship heat leeches. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. I guess you could repair my ship. Nothing for us to do. If you're in good flying condition. Oh. Okay. Folks are saying to talk to the ship tech on uh Gagarin, and I d didn't. Let me go up to Emiliano. Because he's very far away. Hi. Can't wait until we get those pure... Man, what would I have done if you hadn't come along to help? I got the new air purifier parts for you. Hey, you got them? That's great. And just in time, too. One of my maintenance people said they heard something rattling around in one of the purifier units. Thanks. I'll make sure the staff here always treats you right. I did it! God, that was so easy to finish. I've been holding on to that for a while. Okay, I do need to upgrade my cargo. That would be a good thing to do. Um, I don't think I can... Can I do that here? Hey, Just put me on the ship? You might want this. Do you have a sandwich for me? Let me slowly get up for what is probably a sandwich. Do you have anything for me, Barrett? Yes, this is yours now. It's always food. It's always food. Let me eat it now. Those look good. Furthers made from a batter of potatoes, eggs, onions, and either flour or matzo meal. Thank you. I'm going to eat this right now. You're very sweet. Let me talk to this guy again. And see if this guy is the one that does big trunk. Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, I've had it. Can you... Where is trunk? Where is trunk? Trunk... I don't even know how this... I don't even know how this works. I've never done this. All right, this is a little confusing, but it's just a new thing. There's a shipbuilder. Shipbuilder allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. Okay. I want big storage. If I press A to add, oh, here it is, cargo. All right, this is a little confusing. So if I have this thing, this will add 320 to my cargo, and it's not very expensive. Can I have two cargo holds? Can this just attach? Can I just throw this on somewhere? You might need to extend the ship to add snapping points. Wow, the, what do you, how do you do that? Leave this here. I want the ship to be bigger. Like, this is neat. It's just not terribly intuitive. I'm going to flip this around. Wait, that didn't work. Oh, I re oh, that did not work. I thought that I'd be able to attach this here. Ah, oh, God. Is it because of these truck nuts? Pull these off. Pull these off. This just does... Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. Take this. Plug this in here. All right, we're getting somewhere. This is going to be an ugly ship, but it will maybe work. All right, this thing can attach here. Perfect. Old cargo hold. Still here. Same place. And if I'm going for this, I might as well buy another one of these sons of a gun, right? 
Let me go to cargo, buy another one of these 50 holds. Bada bing, bada boom. Take this, slap it on the other side. Boom, there we go. Now it's big. It's big and stupid looking. It's way heavier. <laughs> but I figured it out. It's like bad Legos. Since I am in here, I would, I am interested to paint it color. Ah! All right, all right, we've, we got it. You can change the hue. The saturation is currently set to zero, which is why there's no color. And then the brightness is low. Ah, and it doesn't cost you to change the color. You can just change it. Oh my God, sorry. I'm being told I can select all of the components. Hold on, how, select all. Son of a gun, color. Oh my God. It will, ah. That makes sense that they would let you do, ah, Todd. You've done it again. You've invented Command A. That's a sharp looking ship. It does look like McDonald's. What are the chunks colors? It's like white and red. Cause like I wear the chunks cap. Mc I like McDonald's is like, like chunks is the McDonald's of, of this era, right? Now it looks like I'm flying for chunks. That's a nice looking ship. And if I still want to do the yellow, I could add little yellow highlights. All right, we'll keep it that way. That's what we'll do. This is our ship. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm done with this. Exit. Keep it. Boom. That's it. Flying for Chunks is my favorite real big fish song. All right. Th there we go. We solved it. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. My flashlight is not bright enough to really... I don't know how this thing flies. Kind of wish we could have angled these down. I guess we couldn't have done Captain that. McCoy. Yeah. Greetings. Hi, Vasco. Whew. All right. So now, now we've got... Now we've got some space. Oh, yeah. I guess I could have named it differently. Next time. There's, this is just an empty locker. This is an empty locker. So my question is... I go into the cockpit and I go into here. Does this account for all of the cargo hold now? Yes! My mass is now 1060. Oh. Oh, yeah. I love that. I love that for me. I hate that for Barrett. I don't know where Barrett went. <sighs> Next time, I'll get the stuff from Barrett and store it. Okay. This is great. This is super great. This is super, super great. Okay. So now we can go. We can get the guns out of the coolers. <laughs> I'll deal with that later, but yes, we, we finally have enough room. Uh, so let's, let's take off. Let's get back into space. I want to see this thing fly. That's why I didn't fast travel. It's great. Great. And now I have a little bit of an idea of how to use the the thing. So that's good. Uh, okay. Empty nest. Talk to Sam. We are going back to Aquila City, baby. This is where we first ran into the um, uh, bank robbery. Once I heard Sam tell a wild story about Aquila City. <laughs> Sounded like some sort of old-fashioned ancient frontier story. Thank you, Barrett. Let's get out there and do something new today, shall we? Go ahead. We have time to rearrange things. Uh, I'm going to be probably be going with Sam. So I was going to take this gun because this was the drum beat, and I was like, I kind of want to try that. You have ammo. Give me that. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Well, okay then. Anytime you're ready. Uh, what about Cora? Is she coming? She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her 
swill whiskey in some backwater bar. Understood. Let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. <laughs> Solomon Co. is your ancestor? Your family built Aquila City? Yeah. And the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Hmm. Why not just use a planet scan to find it? Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city, and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Alright, so we find this empty nest and then the artifact. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gale Bank. We'll be heading there. So... Samco cannot be dismissed until... Can I still trade Talk. things with you? Lay it on me. I can still trade things with Barrett. Sure. Just let me move some things around. Let me just give you anything that, like... I just don't want to hold on to. I, like, I have two of these. All right, that gives me a lot more room to breathe. Right. No worries. True friend soldier crap. Yeah, at, at some point I'll be back with Barrett because we're doing, like, a mission at some point, I'm sure. So uh, I'll get all that back. All right, Sam. Here. This is for you. It's a sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to give me, so I'm super excited to find out. I wasn't expecting anything. Then, surprise. Should have brought party hats. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. <laughs> you didn't have to do that for me. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows? Check in with me now and again and I might find more. Uranium. Hey. Put this in your pocket, and you'll die. <laughs> Sam, you wanna? Yeah, don't don't go too fast. All right, let's get back to that bank vault. Maybe I could learn a little bit more about Sam quick. You mind if I ask you some personal questions? My life is an open book. Well, mostly open. Well. <sighs> Just ask. Hmm. Uh, what do you think of exploration? There's so many planets, moons, celestial phenomena out there. Most captains just sail through the great black, not even really looking, appreciating. A lot of the time, touching down on a virgin planet can be, well, uneventful. But every now and then, you see something no human has ever laid eyes on. That is what I live for. How does Cora's schooling work? Cora has the complete top of its class learning videos and lessons. And I have to occasionally do some of the old homeschooling. Fortunately, mainly it's the videos. Around when she was seven, she could already see the cracks in my knowledge. Come to think of it, I think she's doing an introductory college course in astrophysics. Not being graded, like, for fun. She's so weird. Have you seen a lot of action? I've seen my fair share of scrapes. Actually, <laughs> a triple share with a massive bonus worth. Some folks say I'm the luckiest man alive after making it through some real whoppers. But the trick is to always keep a cool head. Impulsiveness, fear, adrenaline, all those will get you jumpy. You get too jumpy, your target could be five in front of you and you'll miss every time. After all this is over, what's next for you? There's no next. I want to be exploring until they pry the boots off my cold, dead feet. I mean, Cora will go to university, and the price tag there is scarier than any jam we've been in. But for me, 
My truest love is the next star, the next horizon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, Sam. Sam, you're my man. Let's go do thing. So we're back in Aquila City. The only thing we've really seen here was... Also, I gave all my stuff to <laughs> to Barrett, but I could have sold it at that kiosk. I gotta start remembering that. The only thing we've seen here is the the holdup. So you're just a citizen. You're just a stagehand. Word to the wise. Avoid the stretch. Especially... Kiela City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. And now you're back. It looks like a pretty nice place. So we gotta go to Gao Bank. Which we've already been to before. Does this thing still work? No. Alright. Good work dealing with the Shaw Gang. Now let's see if we can find those maps. Did not mean to talk to. to you. I was trying to use the door. I go through doors backwards. Constantly backwards, McCoy. Looks like by preserving the heritage of Aquila City, we provide a vital service to those more esteemed families who've made their home here for generations. You have a lot of trouble with people trying to rob the bank? Eh, not as much as we used to. Ever since Marshal Blake took charge of the Rangers, well, <laughs> things have been a lot quieter. There was a time those locked gang boys would be in here so often, we used to joke they ought to just open accounts. Gotta hand it to Marshal Blake, though. He's really got them on the run. Uh, one thing I can't say is I've never been a hostage before, and well, I think I've had my fill of that for a while. Hmm. What kind of things uh, do you keep in your vault? In a word, heirlooms. Some of the old families, those descended from the city founders, store objects of value here. Basketballs. Yes, we've got items in our vault that have been passed down from generation to generation. Basketballs. I like to think that the entire heritage of Aquila City is stored right here for safekeeping. Probably basketballs. Uh, me? Oh, I'm the protector of that heritage. <laughs> if I can ever help, just swing on by. You're not the person we're here for. And I'm allowed to just, like, walk around. I find that weird, but okay. Where's the down? There's a down. Here's the down. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Okay. So, Mariner's Compass. I don't know if we need this, but... Probably... Probably just the note. Also, you said it wouldn't be on a slate. And it's on a slate. Like, it's... It's on a slate. <laughs> now, it ain't gonna be on a slate. It is. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Jacob. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. Hmm. Who's Jacob? Why'd he take the maps? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Okay, so that's why it's on a slate. Because Jacob took the papers. Alright, that at least makes sense. Uh... Sounds like we need to talk to him. Yeah, we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Sam, level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this? Sure do. I don't even need a plus six. That's a lot. Listen. You'll feel better if you just let it out. Yeah, I know. 
We're going to the we're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find out. Yeah, well, I don't gotta say it. Can't work together if you don't trust me. It's not supposed to be your business. That's what I'm saying. Are you serious? Look, I'm done talking. God. You'll find out soon enough. Okay. Let's just get going. You son. God. Piss it, Jesus. Ah. God, that's frustrating. I, I didn't go for the plus six because I was like, well. I'm going to go for the plus three because that's more manageable to get, which I was right. I got it. <laughs> and then I couldn't get the green ones. Gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. How am I supposed to get better at persuasion if I can't get better at persuasion? <laughs> All right. Well, hey, this has been great. Thank you. I hope you keep your basketball safe. All right, there's a million things here. I'm not interested in them. There's too much. Is Solomon Cole really all that? Some make it seem like he built the whole damn Free Star Collector by himself. Eh, I'm sure some of the tales grew in the telling, but no one denies he found Cheyenne and set up his camp not far from here. Aquila City was his baby. I don't buy it, though. The United Colonies wouldn't let some ragtag settlers stake a system like this without really the fight. Someone helpful like you. It was a different time. The job Everything you did with the new. bank Everyone should be easy. Everyone Earth as quick as you can. If he tried it today, I'm sure the UC would have shut him down. And there is no way he wore that getup. I'm still just saying, got some codes living in Aquila City. Books. Okay, I learned something and also got another miscellaneous rock quest. Have some work for someone like you. I can't That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Lots of residents saying lots of things. There's citizens and there's residents and they're separate. Hi. I don't take stairs. I fly. Co estate. Well, we made it. Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Your companion can speak on your behalf. Or I might be able to get some persuade in, man. I gotta... <laughs> Whoa. Don't drag me into this. You dragged yourself into this when you stepped into my house without so much as an invitation. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. I could speak to Jacob. He might see reason. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sure, I can do this. What is it this time, Constellation? Hey man, be reasonable. We need those maps, Jacob. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. All right, let's see. It stays here. Let's see here. I only need a four. There's no reason to do a six. I only need a four, and that'll be easier to hit. The sooner you agree, the sooner we're out of your house. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. Oh, 
I'll never let you have these maps. If you give us the maps, we'll leave. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, I missed it if it told me. Where are we at on persuasion? Six of ten. Okay. We're getting there. Well. My own father's trying to keep those maps from me. So that's your dad. <sighs> Goodbye. Us Coes have been in government for generations, making sure the Free Star Collective is run the right way. But getting said government to do anything worthwhile is like hurting Ashta. It takes perseverance, compromise, and above all, respect. You try to groom your successors, but wisdom's often wasted on the young. Was that a subtle dig, Jacob? It wasn't meant to be subtle, son. Hmm. Sounds like you had quite a career. I did my part, and then some. Back in my day, we tackled some whoppers. Whoppers. The colony wars damn near wrecked our economy. Took years of dedicated work every day wondering if the whole financial system was going to crater on our watch. But we got it done. Damn near had a nervous breakdown. Best years of my life. You're quite a character, Jacob. Might be you're not too bad yourself. Oh, my God. Well, I doubt you came to hear me wax poetic. Incredible. What do you need? You proud of your family's legacy? Of course. Of course. Solomon Coe was a great man, no doubt about it. If it weren't for him, there'd be no Aquila City and probably no Free Start Collective either. And of course, the name comes with certain benefits around town if you catch my meaning. I never turned down a free drink in Solomon's honor. Should it come my way. You feel pressure to live up to Solomon Coe's accomplishments? Hell no. I've got no control over the actions of those who came before me, and I don't feel beholden to him either. Solomon was a true pioneer and a risk taker. And I respect that. But I'm not him. I'm a man who appreciates the simpler joys in life. I'm no thrill seeker. And I don't feel like I need to make my mark on the world. A highball of good whiskey and a sunset to watch it with. It's all the accomplishment I need. What do you have? A wonderful fact to reflect upon. It's a tale of two cities. He's got a tale of two cities that he's reading on his Kindle. You take care of yourself. All right. Maps. Dear management, the AC is drafty and some people smell. Please fix. There's some fruit. If you want an orange or a pear. So we have the maps. Do you want them? All right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. <laughs> Don't say things like that. My anxiety is bad enough as is. We'll be fine. Just gotta take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Hmm. How are they surviving outside the walls? Criminal groups in Aquila always find a way. But they usually have to keep on the move to avoid the Ashta. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the cave we want happens to be where the Shawgang runs around. But something doesn't feel right. Bringing outlaws to justice sounds like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Maybe another chance to persuade. Oh, this counts as stealing. Like, this is not our stuff. I just, I'm amused at the fact that, like, stealing this would cause... Sam's dad to like start trying to kill us or something. That's just very funny to me. 
have what you wanted. Now off with you. I guess it was nice talking with you. You have what you need. It was a pleasure saying hi. It's great. So, <laughs> don't steal certain things, but you can have this pot. Why does this have a... That's interesting. So, this has no icon. This has the steel icon, which is like a little red square. This has one I don't know that I've seen before, which is a blue diamond. And I don't know what that means. Is that because it's a crafting component? Have they all had... Have all the crafting components had diamonds? I didn't think they did. Maybe I haven't been paying close enough attention. He doesn't mind if you eat some things, but do not take his beer. Oh, it's a rare crafting ingredient. And it's mine now. Got it. Cool. It's not nailed down. That means it's mine. You got any other rare stuff that I'm allowed to just take? Jacob? No, That's wonderful. My time to waste with you. God, you're so confusing. It's almost like you were programmed by Bethesda. Let's see, is this anything? What is this? Let me just get out a gun. I like reading this sort of thing, because they never expect you to. Should I use one half? Embed LEDs in shelves? Maple birch or something else for shelves? Hidey space? So someone's working on some shelving. Is there anything else down here? The Shinjiro 5. Antique toy motorcycle. That's cute. Wait, what was that? Oh. You can't sleep in there. I don't need to sleep at this particular moment, but I do like to sleep. Notepad. This is a nice bathroom. Wow. 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 I'm impressed. <laughs> Trying to see if there's anything. He I'm going to assume there's not. There's so much toilet paper that we're allowed to take. And let me check over here. This is like storage slash workspace. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Sam, can I have this? Can I have this? Wait, you know that's not ours. Sam. I need it. It's fine. Don't tell anybody. Your dad doesn't need to know. Oh, this is like an exit. All right. Wait, what is that also to the exit? Travel to the, yeah. Okay, well, let's just go here. Where does this go? This could be something neat and fun. I think, I think, oh, <laughs> wherever we are. Listen, Sam, I think that your dad owes it to us. First off, it's probably Cora's, so we can return it to Cora. So I don't think your dad just has this plush. So it's probably we're gonna we're gonna return it. She'll get a chance to enjoy it. We're like up. We're in a different part, man. I don't know where. I don't know where we are. Aquila's real big. That's. Is that here? That's, yeah, that's just out there somewhere. Oh, I can travel to it, though. I don't know if I can walk to this or if I if I need to travel to it. I think I need to travel to it. Shaz says, we're going to return it. We are not. Listen, it's going to be where she can get it. It's fine. Is this, is this where we need to be? I suppose. This is... The, we're now here, and the city was... Here. Oh, and my ship is still there. That's interesting. So it left my ship there. I fast-traveled to the empty nest, but I left my ship there. Huh. It's not how I expected that to work. I thought my ship would move. So this just basically put me out in the field. <laughs> That's fine. 
Okay, uh, let's... Let's stop there for now. Uh, next episode, we'll be dealing with the empty nest. It kind of looks like there is, like, an enemy. Is that an enemy? It kind of looks like an enemy. Let's try and get a read on this. Who knows for sure? Maybe, and, and maybe it's safe. Maybe we can just go, like, talk it out. We'll find that out next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Plays Starfield.